Hello, this is Clay Beerman. Welcome back to the channel. I've had a Chevy Volt, my 2013 Chevy Volt, since June of 2016. And one of the main questions I always get asked is how much does it increase your electric bill every month? And the answer I give people, based on just the calculations I've done in my head multiple times, is about $20 to $30 a month. And that's essentially driving on electricity anywhere from 20 miles to 40 miles. So, you know, kind of your average commute. I'm going to show you two electric bill, electric bills, electric bill for the month of September and electric bill for the month of October. And we're going to compare the two. And the reason I'm comparing those two months is because I recently got out of the Marine Corps and I traveled home and was per, am now permanently home since September 22nd. The September bill goes all the way till the end of September, but I didn't do a lot of driving those for that first week I was back. It was kind of like a time to like, kind of like just, you know, get re reintegrated into my family, you know, get my stuff settled, do some things around the house, that kind of thing. But from October 1st, essentially, until for the full month of October, I drove my Chevy Volt pretty much every day. And every day I drove probably about an average of one battery's worth. So anywhere from 30 to 40 miles based on the conditions. And my electric bill did reflect that. So today, we're gonna look at both of those electric bills and just kind of go over how I calculated how much it cost to drive my Chevy Volt for a month. One of the limitations I have is that I didn't set my trip meter. So this is gonna be a two part thing. So November 1st, I reset one of my trip meters. So when I do this again for the November electric bill, I'll actually have the actual miles I drove. And because it's a plug-in hybrid, meaning that you plug it in, you drive it on electric most of the time, but it has a gasoline backup generator, so you don't have range anxiety, um, I'll be able to calculate how many actual miles I drove on electricity only. Let's go over um, the question I want answered, how do I answer that question, and the limitations and assumptions that I'm using. Because you get your electric bill and it tells you, you know, maybe the temperature differences, maybe how much more your bill increased or decreased, uh, maybe why. But it doesn't like say like, oh, your your furnace uses this much electricity, your lights use this much electricity because, you know, unless you have a really, 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 really smart house, your houses don't give you that much detailed information. The question I want answered, how much does it cost in electricity in one month to drive my Chevy Volt? This is under the assumption that I am charging the vehicle at every opportunity I can and mostly running the vehicle on electricity. How do we get that answer? Need to find out what I pay per kilowatt hour, difference in kilowatt hours consumed between months, and then if the kilowatt hours consumed equal the approximate miles I drove. Limitations. I don't know exactly how many miles I drove last month and how many of those were using electric only. Don't know how much electricity was used to run our heat and for everything else month to month. Assumptions. Since we have geothermal heating and cooling, the heat we used consumed equal to or less the energy needed for cooling. Most if not all of the extra kilowatt hours used in October were a result of driving my Chevy Volt daily. Oh, and this video will help you understand your electric bill if you don't understand it. So just kind of a bonus there. Okay, so I took, I took my last two power bills, downloaded them from uh, Indiana Michigan Power. That's my power provider. They, uh, hi. So as you can see right off the bat, I redacted my personal information for obvious reasons. You know, I wanted to show my home address. So down here, current bill summary, building from beginning of September to end of September, and then it gets your 30 days. All right, as you can see, the total bill was $99.16. All right, um, and then uh, you have your usage history. So June, that's pretty much the first month we lived here. That's why it's so low. And then July, August, September, October, those are the numbers in kilowatt hours. Kilowatt is a unit of power. Kilowatt hour is a uh, unit of energy. And then over here, you have Indiana, Michigan Power provides this nice little graph, which I really like. You got your total kilowatt hours here, 606. Uh, current charge is $99.16. Um, shows your taxes and fees, $6.49. Monthly service charge, that always stays the same, always stays the same $15 unless they decide to raise it. Um, but it doesn't change from bill to bill. And then your electric service. And this is the number that we want to pay attention to, the 77.67. So first question we need to answer is, how much do I pay per kilowatt hour? And that's pretty easy to do. So I got my little calculator pulled up here. So you simply take, how do I do this? You simply take the amount you pay, $77.67, and you divide that by your total kilowatt hours used for the month. All right, and here you can see that it's 12, essentially about 12.8 cents, 12.8 to however you want around it. I'm gonna call it 12.8 cents. I pay per kilowatt hour. We can answer one question really quick. What was the increase in bills six and so the increase in the bill 
uh, from September when I didn't have my uh, Chevy Volt, my electric car, and I wasn't driving it and charging it every day, multiple times, $99 to $129. The bill increased by $29.89 uh, essentially. So let's just verify that, I'm that I paid the same amount per kilowatt hour that I did last month. We're taking the electric service charge, so in taxes and fees are a little higher, so that plays into it as well, but we're not gonna take that into account. We're just taking in the kilowatt hours used. So 105.61 divided by 824. And that should give me the same number it does. 12.8 12, 12 cents essentially per kilowatt hour. Right, so that's what I paid. The next thing we need to find out is what's the difference in kilowatt hours? That's pretty simple. I take 824 minus 606. Let's see what we get. 824 minus 606. So from September to October, the bill increased, well not the bill, the amount of kilowatt hours I use increased by 218. Now like I said, I'm making a lot of assumptions. We're saying that 218 kilowatt hours increases all from using my Chevy Volt, charging my Chevy Volt daily. So 218, remember that number 218, that's the increase in kilowatt hour, okay? To see how much we actually paid in kilowatt hour, not not accounting for tax, 218 times, I really suck at this, bear with me, 12.82, uh, I think it was, something like that. So again, so the increase, the increase in the electric usage per kilowatt hour cost was tw about $27.90, we'll say 95 cents, so 27.95. Okay, so we found out what I paid per kilowatt hour, uh, about 12.8 cents, difference in kilowatt hours consumed between months, 218, and then if the kilowatt hours consumed equal to the approximate miles I drove. Now, I think I said in this video that I drove approximately 30 to 40 miles a day, rounded out. Um, let's see if that makes sense. So, and this is where it kind of gets into, if you don't know much about electric vehicles, I go by, some people go by watts um, per mile. I go by kilowatt hour, how many, how many miles you get per kilowatt hour. Generally with my Chevy Volt, it's around four. Now that's going 55 or under um, in warm weather. So it's been kind of cold here, let's say three, and it's probably better than that. No, let's say 3.5. Again, it's not 100% scientifically accurate, but it's a good estimate based on my um, experience with the car. So 3.5 miles per kilowatt hour. All right, so in the increase in kilowatt hours from September to October was 218. So you take 3.5 times 218, and you get 763 miles that I've driven uh, in October. So if you actually look at this bill, it's actually for 29 days. So let's divide that number by 29 to get our, the daily amount that I drove. 26 miles, okay. That's probably fairly accurate. Some days I didn't drive, some days I only drove, um, I don't know, 15 miles. Some days I drove only drove 20 miles, some days I drove 40 miles or more. That makes sense for about what I drove during the month. And again, like I said before, I'm actually, I reset my strip meter November 1st, so when I do this video again in December, comparing October bill to November bill, um, I'll know exactly how many miles I drove and how many of those miles were on electricity. That's pretty much it. It's not, it's not complicated. Um, some people think it is, but if you know what you pay per kilowatt hour and you know how many kilowatt hours your car used in a month, that's what you pay minus the taxes and fees and again this is all without solar my system hasn't been installed yet you would have seen a video on that if it had um, so that's pretty much it so again let's go over that final number and answer the question how much does it cost in electricity in one month to drive my chevy volt um, we take our electric service charge that's the only number we're looking at for now um, and then minus what was it for the last month let's go up 7767 in the month of October, I used approximately $27.94 worth of fuel, which is my electricity, to drive my Chevy Volt. Uh, I forget, it was like 700, around 700, 800 miles. Again, I don't know how much I actually drove, but that seems fairly accurate. So you think about that, $27.94 in one month for electricity, and I also drove my motorcycle, my Zero SR motorcycle a little bit uh, in October, but. We're not counting that. So to fuel my car and my motorcycle a little bit, it cost me $27.94 more in electricity in one month, which is fairly accurate um, to the $20 to $30 that I normally tell people. So that's good. And honestly, I, I've been driving more here because we live in the country, so we're further away from things than I did when I was um, in North Carolina. And I was 10 miles one way from work and back. So there it is, $27.94 one 
one month to the next. It's not complicated. Very pleased with it. I was expecting a much higher bill because we have had to use the heat and I have been charging my car at least once per day, I would say, um, average. So it's really good. Again, this house has a geothermal. Um, I'm installing solar. You know, they say my system will produce, uh, I think it's 10,600 kilowatt hours a year uh, by 12. 883 and 883 kilowatt hours per month average. Obviously, I won't generate as much electricity in the wintertime. But based on these two bills, you know, 606 and then 824, that's still below the 883 that my system is estimated to produce per month. I mean, if you take this bill down to, to, you know, essentially $15 a month, that's, you know, that's over $100 a month. So that's, you know, $1,200 a year right there. But thanks for watching. That's my video. Thanks for watching. Um, please leave a comment, ask a question, like, subscribe, dislike, whatever. I don't care. Please just do something. I like to have a conversation. Um, but uh, yeah, see you next time.